Hello and welcome to this uh, video tutorial where I'll show you how to install Flutter. First go to flutter.dev, then click on get started. Choose your operating system here. We'll, we'll, I'll walk you through the window setup. For Windows, you need to have the following requirement. Of course, Windows 7, SP1 and up. Disk space at least uh, 1.32 gigabyte. I uh, say you need 2 gigabyte. Tools you need to have uh, the Windows Power PowerShell 5.0. If you have Windows 10, it will already be uh, be available for you. Uh, of course, Git for Windows to check if you have Git for Windows or not. Type here. Uh, just type git and uh, if you get an uh, instruction, the help, uh, uh, the help section, then you have git. If you don't have git set up, you can go uh, type this uh, link here, uh, the git uh, scm, and install it for your operating system. Next, you need to install the, uh, the Flutter itself. Uh, here, click this. Uh, this uh, zip file and download it is about uh, 600 megabyte. Uh, once it's uh, it has uh, it has uh, done, extract the zip file and uh, copy the Flutter folder and place it somewhere on your computer. On my computer, it's in it's in uh, C uh, SRC. I copy it here, Flutter. So once you have your Flutter on your system, uh, you need to update your uh, variable, uh, window variable. You type variable, and you get this edit uh, system variable environment, environment variable, user variables, pass. Here you need to add the, the pass to the bin folder inside your Flutter installation, CSRC Flutter bin, and OK, OK. So you're done editing your, updating your pass. Now you need to run Flutter Doctor to check your environment, if it's ready or not for Flutter. So I will go to CSRC. Flutter. Now I will run uh, the command doctor that are available with uh, Flutter program, Flutter doctor, and it will give me uh, <coughs> some list. Okay, I can see what I am missing, what if, if or if everything is uh, okay. Here, uh, for the first time you install Flutter, you will uh, have, of course, uh, these three uh, that are not checked. So, now we haven't finished. We want, we'll continue now with Android Toolchain. Now, to set up the Android Toolchain, you need to set up Android uh, Studio on your computer. Go to... Go to the Android Studio page and download it. Download the program here. Once done, install it as any other program. Now, once you have Android Studio on your uh, computer, run it. I have it already here. Okay. So, if you want to here we have uh, the Android Studio. Now you can to set up your Android device. You need uh, to install the Google USB driver, which is available from your Android Studio. In uh, so you need to go to Configure SDK Manager. Uh, go to SDK Tools. You need to have the Google yes, USB driver checked. Uh, you need to install this tool. Along the way, install Android SDK tool, Android SDK platform, and Android emulator. 
also make sure Android SDK build tools is checked. We need this to, to be able to run our device for testing or install a virtual device in Android Studio. So once this is done, you can you can run your device as a testing device by plugging by connecting it to your computer with USB. Of course, make sure your device is set up is has uh, developer options and USB backing enabled. To do to do this, uh, follow the Android documentation, which which is provided here uh, by this link. All right. Now you have after you've uh, set up your device, you need to set up the Android emulator. To make the emulator work smoothly, you need to install the VM acceleration. All right, so you need to have the virt virt virtualization extension requirement. Now, uh, it depends on your uh, CPU. If you have Intel, as I have here on my computer, to know if you to know if uh, if your Intel is uh, does support virtualization, uh, you need to uh, to have a small tool. Uh, which is called CPU Z. CPU Z. Mm. CPU Z. CPU ID. It, uh, CPU Z, yes. Uh, you can have this tool uh, online. Just search for CPU Z and uh, You'll have a, you you have the link uh, and you can install it. It's a very simple, small program. So uh, so with uh, CPU Z you can go to uh, to your uh, check your CPU here and uh, some in, in the instructions section you can see that here I have VTX the VTX all right which I'm I'm good. So make sure your CPU support uh, VM acceleration. If you have uh, the VTX as I am, you need to uh, go to <coughs> your BIOS and enable the Intel virtu virtualization technology. Each, CP each motherboard has its uh, own instruction concerning how to edit the BIOS. So go search uh, for how to do this. Once done, Next, you need to install a hyper visuals, visuals, which is required. Okay, to check if you already have hyper visuals, you can go to, as they suggest here, you can go to to your user. Your username, app data, local, Android, and uh, TDS, then SDK, then emulator, emulator, then, ah, then you run, I mean. Then you run the emulator with Excel check. Acceleration check. All right. Okay. Uh, here uh, I'm getting an error because I don't have uh, a device running, a, a virtual device running. So let's run. One. Okay, after this, let us check again. All 
Oh, all right, all right. First, uh, okay. Okay, first I need to get the device name. Uh, here I can, again, go to Flutter and type Flutter devices. I'm not sure, but I guess this is the device name, hopefully. All right, and I can, as the instructions say here, choose a device name, AVD emulator, I guess, and unknown AVD name. Ah, okay, I have the list AV, okay. I can use this here to see my list of available devices. All right, as you can see, this is what we need. So uh, I will copy my this one. I guess I'm running this particular device here. So I will type it. And uh, okay, I made another mistake. Is it's one dash here. And voila, I get uh, I get the message, the, this message that shows that my accelerator is uh, is running. Uh, I'm using what is called the HAXM version 7.5.6 is installed and usable. So this is great. Let us continue here to make your uh, your computer also work so let us install the acceleration so as you can see here i'm using the the haxm uh, software the accelerator if you would like uh, so so here is a table that will tell you uh, what accelerator uh, what hypervisor uh, you need so it depends on your uh, on your needs so here if you have an intel processor and do not need to run hyper-v at the same time as the android emulator so the recommended uh, hypervisor is haxm me i don't have any need uh, to run both of these uh, technology together if you have inter process and you need to run both you need to install whpx if you have amd also for amd the same steps uh, so i will show you how to install uh, haxm first you need to disable hyper z of course if you're now if you're going with the first uh, option to disable the uh, Hyper-V you need as, as the documentation say here you need to have Hyper-V unchecked along with virtual machine uh, window hypervisor platform and window sandbox to access this uh, window features box it's uh, very simple in window 10 you type window features and you get this turn windows features on or off you wait and you get the list here so let's make sure the hyper-v which i don't have it i don't have it so no problem virtual machine platform virtual machine platform is disabled window hypervisor platform window hypervisor Hypervisor platform is disabled. Then Windows Sandbox, which I don't have it. All right, I have everything here in order. So, so all I need now to do, after making sure that Hyper-V is disabled, one more thing we need to check is Windows Security Core Isolation. Core isolation. All right. I'm just following here the documentation, uh, some 
basic steps all right i have it off done go next now uh, you need to install of course the uh, the accelerator it itself to install the accelerator you go to again you go to your uh, studio uh, android studio you go to configure configure sdk manager you type sdk tools and you find the intel uh, emulator accelerator this is the one uh, that you need to install it's a straightforward process uh, installation once done i guess you have everything ready okay now you need to in, to be able to verify that everything is working correctly anywhere you need to open a command prompt and uh, on, in any location just type uh, sc query intel hex all right you type this as it is and here we have uh, have it running stay running this is all you need to know so it's good we're good I think we're done with the accelerator here now to use the accelerator you need to set up a an Android emulator with Visual Studio here you go to configure and you go to AVD manager you create a new virtual device here I have already created two but I will create a new one because I will show you how to clone you, you, your device so this is a list of devices uh, already uh, set up for you with uh, predefined screen size resolution and the density now I I advise you to clone the device and uh, create your own uh, because uh, some option if you use a, a pre-made setup some option will be disabled disabled and one of these most important option is the, uh, the the accelerator so just create a new device name and uh, I'll keep uh, the default name which uh, is the pixel XL appended with edit inside a parenthesis I'll type finish here I have my new device and I will select it press next then select an emulator I have an emulator already downloaded here if it, it's the first time you run this you need to download uh, any of this emulator I downloaded the latest one here the R, the uh, image. This is the image. So select an image and press next. Here, the most important step is to uh, select an emulator, uh, emulated uh, performance uh, graphics. You select the hardware GLES 2.0 and you click finish. Here you have uh, the device uh, ready. First time you run it, it will take some some time. So wait for it to make sure. Uh, that it run as you expect all right here is our android emulator which is running perfectly so for now i will leave it open and i will go to my To my CMD, I will point it to my Flutter installation and type Flutter uh, Doctor. Uh, 
with these uh, steps we have just uh, done we will have or you will have of course this will be checked this one too and this one now it will be checked because you have an emulator running now let's go and set up Android Studio and VS Code so to set up Android Studio here we go to the next step which is set up an editor first I'll choose the Android Studio and I will follow this step here you need to install a plugin you go to configure and then click on plugins you go to the marketplace it is taking some time here my internet is slow for today because I now here you will search for flutter which is here and you install it I have already installed it in my PC uh, this once you install flutter it will install dart 2 it will tell you that dart is recommended and install uh, and ask you for dart so you would say yes and install dart with flutter so once this is done you have your emulator uh, your android studio ready you can again type flutter doctor this time you will have the android studio checked green now for vs code the same thing you need to do you need to go to extension let me access my vs code here you need to go to the extensions and you search for flutter I have already installed this plugin. You need to install it. It comes with Dart. Once you installed Flutter and done, you have also your VS Code uh, editor ready. You can run verify this by running Flutter Doctor. And now you will have, as I have, everything green except, of course, this connected device, uh, which we have just closed, so it's no issue. We have everything ready for flutter development now to test your setup we go to the next step and the test is that everything is working here you can use any of android studio or visual studio code or simply the terminal which is enough for me you, you need to run flutter create app somewhere on your drive using the cmd You choose your destination here and you run uh, flutter create my app it will take it, will do, it, do, it doesn't take uh, much time and it will install flutter here I have already in, uh, run this command in my project flutter if I type dir I will see I have my app here Now I need to navigate to my app and open it with my uh, VS code by typing code dot. Here I have the folder open in my VS code. Now we need to run uh, the app. First we need to check that we have a device uh, running so I will run a device any device I verify that my device is detected flutter devices 
Now my app has the command flutter, the program flutter I, where I can use it. As, I, as you can see here, it detects the emulator that I just opened. Now I can run my app with flutter run. Now the first time you use this command it will take some time, especially if you have slow connection. It may take 20 minutes or 30 minutes or even one hour. You don't have any feedback on how much time it needs or how much the size of the download is. Just wait for it or leave your computer till it's done. Once it's only uh, download once and next time it will run faster. So now I have run the application. I can verify this by going to my emulator here and see that the application is open. I can interact with it which is working. Now one thing you need to know about is the hot reload which is very important. So you don't need every time to run your application, your uh, yes, your application. Here we can make a change. For example, you have this one, you have pushed the button uh, this many times. I can change it to click and run the hot reload by typing on my command oh, typing R all right it should reload it oh I haven't saved I need to save of course and I'll type R again and here I have it you have uh, click uh, the button this many times all right so this is it for installing uh, flutter on your computer all right, now you're ready to learn uh, Flutter. Here on uh, on my channel, we will first start by learning uh, Dart before Flutter. Uh, then we'll go uh, and learn Flutter. Thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you like this video. If you do, push the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel for more of these uh, tutorials regarding uh, mobile development with Flutter and uh, web development with uh, React and Node.js. See you in the next uh, video.